How to make a 3D platformer with the new input system in Unity. Create a simple 3D scene. Add a plane, scale it, and use the main camera to move it and adjust it to make the scene look better. Add a capsule, which will be the player object. These steps are for the new Unity users. If you are already experienced and you want to skip to the part of coding and adding the new input system, you can skip this part. If you are a new user, just follow what I am showing right now. As you can see, I am adding the materials, which are pretty much important to make your game look more interesting. Add rigid body to the player. Now, create a movement script. But wait, we are not going to set the movement script right now. Instead, let's go to the package manager, Unity registry, and search input. The input system is displayed here. Just click the button install and you will install it. Please wait, because it takes forever to load. Confirm, yes. As I explained in the previous video. The procedure to install the input system is the same. Create the input system. I will put it into a folder. Just right click Create Input Actions. Name it Input System. Make sure to generate C Sharp class, because you want to use it in your C Sharp script. You can't do it in any other way. Add action map. Name it land. Now add a movement action. Set action type to value and control type to any. You have to create up, down, left, right. Because it's a 3D component, unlike the previous video that was just a positive negative binding for 2D movement. Path, listen, up arrow. Path, listen, down arrow. You just have to match with those keys. I don't have to explain it. Also do it with WASD because you want to move your player with these keys. Just pay attention that up is W and down is S. Add a single binding for left stick, which is the on-screen joystick. You should add another action for jump. And in the jump action you should press the space bar. Now you should save the input actions asset and go to player movement script. Because you want to make your player be able to move with the new input system. Private, float, movement speed, which is the movement speed of your character. Now, maximum speed. I will explain it later. Private, float, jump speed, input system, and a single input action of the input system, which is move. Private, rigid body, RB. You need to have the rigid body of your player. Change void start to void awake, which is loaded before the first frame update. RB, get component. Input actions equals new input system. This introduces the new input system. However, to enable it, you need to add void on enable. Input actions land jump performed on jump. So this calls the jump action. Input action, which is a callback context. Move. Input actions land movement. This is the line of code that describes the movement action of the input system. And input actions enable 
or disable, depending on which void are you looking for. Force direction, which is a vector 3, plus equal, move read value vector 2x. Transform right, multiplied with movement speed. This line of code tells your script to load the axis of your movement. You need to have it because you wouldn't be able to do it without that. This line of code assigns the position, vector 3, 0. But before that, you should add the force applied by the rigid body. Save the script and go back to unit. When you try to move your player, ouch, the player is moving so fast. Now you need to add velocity, which will normalize the movement. RB velocity. Horizontal velocity of your player is zero, but only in the y axis because we don't want the player to move up or down. If the velocity is larger than the square magnitude multiplied with max speed, No, this line of code is not true. Stop suggesting me wrong lines. RB velocity equals horizontal velocity normalized multiplied with the maximum speed, which is the speed that you cannot exceed. Vector 3 up multiplied with RB velocity. Y. Save the script and go back to Unity. When you try to move your player, it works fine. The movement is working as expected. But we need to be able to jump. I wasn't able to find any working solution, so this one should help. RB add force. Vector 3 up multiplied with jump speed and the force mode. This is because rigid body works by adding force. You need to add force with the jump speed, which will make your player be able to jump. First, increase the jump speed. But, oh no, this is the problem. The character is jumping in the air. You need to check if the player is on ground. Private bull is grounded. If context performed and player is grounded, this is what it should do. Is grounded becomes false. But don't forget to introduce because when the game starts, your player is on ground, so is grounded is true. And to check if the player is on ground, you need to add void on collision enter. If your player touches an element that has a ground tag, which is game object compare tag ground, is grounded becomes true, and when you jump, it becomes false. Make sure to add the tag to make it work. But no, the player doesn't need the ground tag, sorry. As you can see, this is the check, but it can be barely seen. The is grounded is false only when your player jumps, but it's true when the player is on ground. Try to experiment with the values, set your desired numbers to adjust how you want your game to function. Bonus part, on-screen joystick controls. After creating a canvas, now you should add a row image. The row image will be the image of the joystick, however, I wasn't able to find it easily, so I cut that part of the video. Add component on screen stick, because it's not a button, we want to be able to move it, so left stick gamepad is the destination where you should move your player with. Now add another image for the jump button. In the on-screen button you should press space because that's the space bar which is used for jumping. 
and add the regular button component just for some special effects like hovering or pressing effects. Try to test your game right now. As you can see, you are able to move your player with your very own on-screen controls. Perfect! This is how you implement the new input system into a mobile game. New tutorials coming soon. Goodbye, have a good day 